So this screencast is to show you how to make a Google Form for digital breakouts. So the first thing you need to do is go to Forms, and there's three different ways that you can do that. But I always just go to Google, go to the waffle right here, make sure that you're signed into your Google account, hit the waffle, and then hit Form. And if Form isn't readily available, just scroll down. It's probably down here somewhere. And you can pull these things around so that you have them in any order you want. Once you click on Form, it'll bring you to this screen here. And on the far left, you want to click blank, start a new form. So title the form with whatever you want it to be. We'll call this one breakout example. When I click up here on that untitled, it automatically defaults to that title. And you can give it a form description. All right, so with your first question, you want to make sure that the questions are always short answer. So click on short answer. And down here you'll see that it says required. It's must be required. Okay, so the, for the first question, let's make it a digit lock. Why don't we just make it a three digit lock? Three digit lock. So here under response validation, you're going to click number. And then you're going to put equal to, and then put whatever the answer is. So let's call it one, two, three. And then you have to enter a custom error text. If you don't enter a custom error text, it's going to default to the answer must contain one, two, three, which sort of messes up your lock. So here you're going to put in, now you can put in, keep trying, or if you want to, you can always put another clue in the response validation. All right, there you go. Now we're going to add another question. We'll make this question a letter question. So let's do seven letter lock and make sure you tell them whether it's all caps or not. So let's do a seven letter lock. It's going to be short answer. It's going to be required. Make sure that you've got this required on right here. Make sure you have response validation on. And here you're going to put text. And then you're going to put contains. And then put your answer, whatever it is. And then you can put your response validation, which I'm going to put still locked for this one. And that's how you make a form. Now, if you want to, you can also change the background in this. So you'll notice the little palette gives you different color options. And this one down here gives you even more that you can put in. So you can choose a different background if you want to. So the little eye gives, shows me what it's going to look like. So I can double check that it will work. If I put the wrong one in, you'll notice it says keep trying. And down here, if I put it and I don't put it in all caps, there you go, that's what it's going to look like. So again, I got to that one by hitting the preview button, which is the I. Okay, now the other thing that you can do is go into the settings and you can decide if you're going to collect their email addresses. I always collect the email addresses because then I know which team broke out first. And you can restrict it to LKDSB. You can limit it to one response. I wouldn't recommend you allow them to edit it. So you might want to make one of the questions. I forgot to mention this. Your team name. And then just leave that one as required and short answer. And then that helps them or helps you find out who actually won. Okay. And that's how you make a Google form. Thank you.